What's up, Amore gang? It's your girl, Keela, and I'm back with another cooking tutorial. Oh, yeah. So, tonight, I will be cooking a Velveeta skillet. Something quick. It's salsa con queso. Um, this is how the box looks. And I started prepping already because I didn't want to make the video too long. So, um, um, I'm... On the box, it says to just put chicken and tomatoes and green peppers. And well, the picture it has just chicken, tomatoes, and green peppers. But I'm adding ground beef to it. As you can see, I know it's kind of smoky, but I'm adding ground beef. I'm also gonna be I'm also frying chicken. I started already because I didn't want the video to be too long. And then also I'm gonna do broccoli because I I, would, I was trying to make it a whole meal and not just something really quick. So I'm also going to put broccoli because, of course, you know, broccoli can go in queso. Um, but I'm not going to mix it in there. I'm going to just put it on the side. And then I have um, extra Velveeta cheese that I may put on the broccoli. I don't know. And then I'm also going to cut up some potatoes. I'm not going to put this in there either. I'm just going to use it as a side so it can be like a meal because we have chicken that we're frying. Also, the chicken that's going in there. But mostly this chicken is for the kids, just in case they don't like the calm, the the queso. This light keeps scaring me. I, can't. I didn't put any peppers yet. Added pepper. The seasoning that I added to the ground beef was pepper, garlic powder, lemon pepper, onion powder, um, salt, and a little bit of salt seasoning salt um you can use either or but me I, i'm sorry me i prefer salt over seasoning salt so i kind of put more salt i don't really like seasoning salt too much i don't know why but yeah um you can season it how you like and i season it how i like it to me doesn't matter to how you how your taste buds are And then after I um, cook the ground beef, I'm not going to drain it. Just because I like the beef, I'm not going to drain the ground beef. You can drain it if you want to, but I'm not going to drain it. Simply because I don't mind the beef. So it's on medium right now. I'm going to let it cook. And I'm going to check on the fried chicken. It's looking pretty. You guys want to see it? It looks good so far. It's not done yet, but it's almost done. That's basically for the kids, though. I don't really eat dark meat chicken. Okay, I'm back, you guys. So right now, I'm just cutting up the chicken. I've already started. Um, you can cut them to the size that you prefer. Me, I want them kind of small because I'm not trying to cut, have to um, cut up too many pieces. So I'm just going to use what I have. I have plenty of chicken breast, but I didn't use but like one and a half because I can. They were they are really big, so I can just cut them up into small pieces. Plus, I have the ground beef in it also, so. I don't want a lot of, um, too much meat. So I'm just going to do about one and a half. You can do two pieces. If you're just going to use chicken, I would say, and they're big chicken breasts, I would say do maybe two, two and a half pieces. Um, this is the size that I'm doing mine. It's pretty small. It doesn't matter if they don't come out the same size. I cut them into little strips. And I'm just going to keep slicing it into smaller pieces. You can do it to your liking. Just like I do it to mine. Almost finished here. And I'm just going to season it. And then I'm going to put it in the pan. Looks like it's going to be a lot of chicken, too. 
What the heck? Who cares? Go big or go home. This will be full. Alright, so cut up the chicken. Now I'm just gonna season it. Salt. little bit of seasoning salt, not too much, because I just put salt. This comes out slow, so it might look like I'm putting in that a lot, but I'm not. Because it comes out really slow. Pepper. I love pepper. I love hot stuff, so I put a lot of pepper. Onion powder. Not too much. Garlic. Not too much. And then the lemon pepper, last but not least. I don't like a really, really a lot of lemon pepper. I'm not a lemon pepper fan. But they like it, my kids. And my hubby likes it, so, okay. I'll put it up there. Then I'm just going to mix it up just to, you know, get the flavor going. So that no part goes undone. Yep. And then I'm going to cut the pan on and I'm going to put them in the pan and then I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, sorry. Okay, guys. Alright, so now I'm going to put a little bit more butter in here. Usually, I, me personally, I like warming up my butter. I like melting it first before I add it to anything. But I'm not going to do that now because I just don't feel like it. So you can put as much butter to your liking, eyeball it, I do. That's my secret. I eyeball everything. <laughs> yeah. Because they um they have a composition of stuff coming up. So she has to practice. My daughter's at dance practice. That's what we're talking about. She's at dance practice. She's on the dance team. And she loves it. She got it. She, she is in a dance scene, y'all. She in a dance scene, y'all. All right, so now I'm going to cut up my tomatoes. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. You, you, you got the dildo. And my green pepper. <laughs> and he keep coming around here stealing food. Who? Dada. Daddy? Yeah, he's Daddy, still he's still a So basically with this, I'm only going to use the like the perimeter of the tomato, like the harder part, because I don't want that mushy stuff in my food. So I'm not going to use the center of any of this potato, I mean this tomato, just the um, perimeter. That's about it. I don't want the middle part in because it's too soft and it's just going to just not gonna taste right to me. Because I don't even like tomatoes, but tomatoes go in here. So what I did was I basically cut the perimeter out not hard you just kind of go around it in a circle because it, it really just will fall right out it's really not hard at all if you just go around it in a circle and you can kind of push it through see the perimeter i don't really like that part so i'm not going to use it but hey that's just me some people may like it but i don't so i'm not going to use it not no not no not no not, not. Not, not, not. Oh, crrr. I get it. I get it. Get out of here. Keep repeating everything. I get it. I said, get it, Mama. I heard what you said. I'm coming, babe. We can watch the movie when we eat. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to play Udo. Yeah, Udo. 
And I'm about to bust his tail in Uno, y'all. Little do he know. Do what? Play Uno? Yeah. No, you don't know how to play Uno. Please. No, Kimari, you don't know how to play Uno. I do know how to play Uno. No, you don't. You can watch us play, though. You can definitely watch us play. What's Sai doing? He didn't go back to sleep yet? Huh? I didn't even get to give him his bath. After I eat, I probably wake him back up and get him a bath. Yeah. But he, um, I did wash him up. Those pajamas he got on now, I washed him up and put on him. So he not dirty, but I just found him some pajamas that I want, some other pajamas I want to put on. So, I want to change him again. Yes, I like changing my baby clothes a lot. Probably more than he really needs. It. I'm going to stir the potatoes up. I'm going to cut them down a little bit. I don't know why they're sticking so much. It's probably the pan. They're not burning. They're just sticking a lot. I put a lot of butter and grease. Maybe the grease is making them sick. But they're not soft enough yet for me anyways. So, I'm gonna let it cook. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Mm. Ooh, this you Sorry, guys, I got a call. But you guys, I need you guys to stop what you're doing. Go subscribe to my page. Like this video. Guys, go watch my other videos. Guys, got me a happy video. I said subscribe to my page. Subscribe to my channel. Watch out. Because I got a knife in my hand. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment. Share. Share, share, share. Tell your friends to come watch it. I'm just really starting back posting videos. But I'm getting on it. I'm doing better. So please bear with me, guys. I will have more content. I just been real big. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Because I will be doing more pranks on baby. Little do he know. Y'all, he pranked me the other night and told me that somebody stole my car. But he didn't record it. But it was a good prank. I wish he would have recorded it because I was I was so mad. I wasn't really mad at him. I was mad at him, but I was more so mad. Like, how in the world did somebody steal my car? Like, how in the world did somebody just decide to steal my car? Out of all cars, you want to steal mine? Mine isn't even worth stealing. I got an old car. But when people are desperate, they'll do anything. That's why I believed him so much. Like, you really let somebody steal my car? I was like, who are these people? I didn't know what to say because number one, it was like really late at night. It was like one, two in the morning. And I'm like, how did you let somebody steal my car? Like, who is these people? But the prank was real good. He got me good because I was serious. He got me. And usually I be knowing when it's a joke. But he definitely got me because I was not expecting that. I was like... I believe him. I was snapping. I was like, how did you let this happen? I wish we would have got it on video, though. So y'all could have been weak because it was pretty funny. It was really funny. Babe, do you want me to put cheese on the broccoli, too, or just leave it like that? All right, so now that I, the broccoli is cooking, you can see that it's a lot of water in here, so I'm going to pour some of the water out because I don't like a lot of water. Then it, the seasoning really won't stick to it. So I'm, I'm going to re-season it because a lot of the water I just poured out, it was just like too much, but I needed it so it wouldn't stick to the pan. 
but now it's pretty good. Mama, I don't really have to. Hmm? Be nice. Why do I always be nice? Yeah. Because I'm a nice person. Why do you always be bad? I don't be bad. You don't? Yeah. Yes, you do. I don't. You do be bad. I'm cutting the light off. See? Now you talk about cutting the light off on me, but you're not bad, though. But he not bad, though, y'all. Y'all just heard him? But he not bad, though. But he just said he's going to cut the light off on me. Light off on me. Oh dang, baby, we gotta get some more butter. Sorry, guys, I'm back. My phone went dead. Okay, so when my phone went dead, I discovered that the box with the queso in it, the Velveeta queso, it didn't come with enough noodles. So I had to add more noodles, but they're a different kind. I, I did the shell noodles. So if you look in here, there's like two different kind of noodles. I kind of, I already mixed in everything. I'm just cooking the noodles. But see, I have pasta shells and then the, what do you call these? Rotini noodles, rigatoni, whatever the spiral ones are. So it's already mixed in. I'm just waiting for the noodles to cook because it says you mix it in. I wanted to cook the noodles by themselves, but of course they can cook like this. I just don't like to do it like that. And now I'm about to finish cutting up the green peppers. I did the tomatoes already. So I did say some things for you guys. This video will be kind of long, but not too long. If it is, you can just skip through it or watch whatever part you want to watch. But pretty much everything's done. The potatoes are done. Um, the potatoes are done. The broccoli's done. Salsa Velveeta cheese. Okay, so I, I am probably going to add some extra Velveeta cheese. I knew cheese and salsa could go in one because every time I eat like my um Alfredo or something, I always want to put like chicken in it and then put cheese and Alf uh, I mean Alfredo sauce and like salsa sauce. It tastes good like that. It's just like eating pizza. But some people just act like it don't go together. To me, it does. I feel like you can eat it like that. But hey, everybody's different. But it, to me, it's just like pizza. Cheese and salsa goes on pizza. So what the freak is the difference? Okay, I'm cutting up these green tomatoes. I mean, I said green tomatoes. Green peppers. No, I'm tired. They was supposed to be helping me cook the chicken. But he dipped off on me and went in the room. Guess he didn't want to be a part of my video. We supposed to have been doing a cooking tutorial. But it might not be too many. It just looked like it to me. But it might not be. It just might be me. All right. So, boom. Onions. I mean, um, I'm so tired. Tomatoes and green pepper. All right. So, right now, I can't really. I'm going to try to reach, but my phone is on the charger. And then my stove light blue, so that's the reason why it's so dark. If y'all are wondering why it's so dark, I'm so sorry. I called maintenance, and they took forever. It's something wrong with my stove light because it's connected to my microwave, as you can see. And he has replaced my my um stove light like a million times, really. And every day that he replaces it, it really literally blows the same day. So I don't know what it is and at this point. I hold on. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Give me one second. Get it, Green peppers and onions. I'm going to stir it in. I'm left-handed, so this is pretty hard for me. You want to hold the phone for me, babe? Too. But this is just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And I'm stirring it up. Stirring it up, stirring it up, stirring it up, stirring it up. To get the tomatoes and the green peppers spread equally throughout it. Then I'm going to add a cup of milk. That should be enough. And I'm going to add more cheese than normal. 
So first, before I add the, first I'm gonna cut it down while I'm adding this stuff because I don't want it to cook too, too much while I'm adding it. So I'll just put it on like medium. Oh, it smells so good already. I love the smell of green peppers. All right, so first I'm gonna add the cheese, the cheese that came in the packet. All right, so I, you could just squeeze it in like so. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is really dark in here. My stove light is jacked up. No, it don't work. All right, so this is the first little bit of cheese. Of course, I have to add more. Luckily, I ha I just bought this extra um, block of Velveeta cheese, or I would have been adding regular American cheese, and it would have tasted so nasty. I would have been so mad because I hate the way um, the melted American cheese tastes in it. Velveeta cheese is where it's at, baby. All right, so now I'm going to open up the... A lot of Velveeta cheese because we need way more cheese than what's in there. I want to chop the first part off because it's open. I didn't. I forgot to put it in a bag. I don't know why. So it's kind of the first part is kind of hard. All right, so I'm gonna cut the the first part off because we're not gonna use this. And I can finally put it in a bag. All right, so. You can cut it into small pieces like this so you don't have like too too much that you're waiting to melt because it's not melted yet. So I wouldn't cut a big block off and put it in there if I were you because it didn't take longer to melt. So just kind of cut it into smaller pieces to make it easier. Yes, I'm a beast in the kitchen, in case you were wondering. I create stuff and it always comes out good. Alright, so I think this would be enough cheese. If it's not, I'll put some more. But this is a lot. So, definitely looks like enough. So far. Oh, this is going to be so good, guys. Alright, so I'm going to put the, add the milk in. I stir this up a little bit. All right. So yeah, it's getting pretty cheesy. Um, I said a cup of milk, but I'm not about to put this whole cup in here because I don't want it to be too watery. And I keep forgetting my measure cup has a hole in it. Yeah, I don't want it to be too watery, but I don't want it to be dry. So that's the reason why I put milk because milk and cheese are always goes good together. I don't like a lot of water because water has no taste. Milk will intensify the taste of the cheese to me. So that's why I prefer to use the milk. And right now, this is how it looks. Let me see. This is how it looks. Um, it's still kind of watery, but once it cooks a little bit more, it, the, some of this water will disappear. <coughs> well, milk. I just didn't want it to stick, but right now, this is how it looks. Very good, very cheesy. Just like Hamburger Helper, but with a twist. Alright. So, now we're going to add the salsa in. The salsa is what gives it that taco, taco taste. The taco taste. And I have some other, I have extra salsa in my fridge too. If I really feel like I need more. Which I probably will because I made more than what was in the vault. So... All right, I think this is a, that was enough cheese. It looks pretty cheesy to me. So I'm not going to add any more cheese. Because it looks really cheesy. But what I am going to do is put some aluminum foil around this. Excuse me, Papa. Okay. All right. So I'm going to wrap the cheese up and place it back in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna pour the rest of the milk out of the measuring cup because we don't need it. But I'm not gonna pour it back in the milk carton because that's just drinking. I don't know why I saved this good special sauce from that um, restaurant I like going to. It's so good. It's their seasoning chicken sauce. Yeah, it's so good. I don't know why I saved this. 
I saved the signature sauce from that restaurant that we always be eating at with the the one that I got the hamburger and wings from. I saved that sauce because it's so good. It is so good. That sauce is good. But I just threw it away. It's their signature sauce. It's really good. Yeah, it's like um that college park. All right, so right now, you guys, this is how it looks. This is how everything looks. Um, this is how the queso looks with the chicken and the ground beef. I'm gonna still let it cook some because it's not really done. Then I have broccoli here. The broccoli's done, and then the potatoes here. And I put parsley on my potatoes, of course. So everything's pretty much done. Said is no tissue. I just put tissue in there, Kimari. How is no tissue? I just put like four rolls of tissue in there. He probably just don't see it. Cause it's, it's in there. But then again, I don't know, cause y'all use tissue up fast. You and Maya, y'all play in the tissue. Then you wipe your nose every five seconds. Which is not bad, but all right. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let this cook and then I'll come back to you guys and show you guys my plate. And it's all finished okay guys my cousins were here they just left i should have recorded them while they were here but um, i had to run them to the store and drop them off so um so yeah i'm back um we are about to eat i went ahead and made bae's plate here it goes right here so you guys can see it i made his first so it has fried chicken potatoes broccoli and then the queso looks good doesn't it yeah yeah i'm gonna go put some more parsley on the um potatoes right, parsley what happened what happened he up again <laughs> the baby up again y'all but yeah see i put some parsley on the potatoes yep and this is pretty much how it looks so thanks you guys for watching we're about to crush about to punish 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 thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more videos remember to like comment subscribe and share and i love you guys thanks for more gang peace see stay better who cook better who cook better who cook better for you I wasn't recording the first time. That's why. Hey, Sire. See who's up? The quiet baby. Quiet, quiet baby. Quiet. You want to get washed up?